About a month ago, Nintendo had officially confirmed that a live-action Zelda movie is in the works. I've been a major fan of the Zelda series ever since I was a little kid, so when I heard news of this, I was absolutely hyped. And I'm sure everyone else all over is super excited as well. So yeah, obviously some people already have some concerns regarding the movie, which is very understandable. A lot of people love the Zelda series, myself included, so it only makes sense that the fans would want nothing more than for this cinematic take on one of the biggest game series ever to be super good. However, I've already seen some people already jump to the conclusion that this movie is going to be a flop. This really confused me as the film was just announced a week ago. We haven't even gotten a release date or trailer, yet I've seen plenty of people make this claim. So I decided to do some digging. I've had plenty of conversations with others about some of the concerns they've had, and for the most part, they're pretty understandable. However, there are two particular things I've heard over and over again. One of them, honestly, in my opinion, isn't as big of a deal as I've seen people make it out to be, but the other concern I've heard honestly does make a lot of sense. And this concern just so happens to be over who's directing and producing the film. Obviously, to make a good movie, you need a good production crew. With that being said, I wouldn't really blame anyone for being concerned over the fact that Arid Productions is one of the code producers after they gave us, well, this gem. It's Morbin time. Ew! Apparently, they also worked on the Amazing Spider-Man movies, which I've never seen, but I've also never really heard good things about them either. <laughs> So yeah, not exactly the best track record from what I'm seeing. But to be fair, people were also quick to jump to conclusions when the recent Mario movie was revealed to have Illuminations involved, since the past few years they hadn't exactly had the greatest library leading up to it. In fact, I will fully admit I was one of those people who was skeptical. And guess what? I was sorely mistaken. Sure, it wasn't a perfect film, but I honestly enjoyed the movie for what it was. I don't know, maybe some people are afraid the Zelda movie is gonna end up being like the OG Mario Bros movie. But considering Nintendo is also co-producing the film, I feel like Nintendo will make sure history won't repeat itself. I mean, back when the first Sonic movie trailer dropped and we all had to witness this h spawn, <laughs> The producers actually took the criticism and went back and fixed Sonic. So if they were willing to fix something like that last minute, then I'm pretty sure if this Zelda movie has something that bad come up, it certainly will be fixed. But then again, Nintendo has made some questionable decisions in the past. Maybe I'm putting too much faith in them, I don't know. Oh right! All this talk of live action game adaptation completely reminds me. The Zelda film is going to be in live action too. Hey, wait a minute, what the hell? Yeah, quite a few people are upset about this decision, saying the movie should have been animated instead. And this, my friends, is the complaint I've heard by far the most of. And I really don't find it to be as big of a deal as people make it out to be. I've seen some people go as far as saying that the movie is already a lost cause due to this fact, which can I just say, is a really stupid take. Just because something isn't done exactly how you would have liked doesn't instantly mean it's bad. Now to be fair, I can understand why some people are disappointed with this movie being done in live action because I personally would have preferred if the movie was animated myself, as that's how I've always envisioned a Zelda film would be. With that being said, even though I'm not personally the biggest fan of the movie's decision to be in live action, I don't think that instantly means the film is doomed. In the past few years, we've had plenty of movie adaptations of games made in live action and most of them ended up being pretty good overall. Such as the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, even if it was a close call in the end. KILL IT WITH FIRE! Detective Pikachu, which I've actually never seen but I heard it's good. And the recent Five Nights at Freddy's movie, which performed a lot better than most expected. I gave you cats in Ohio! Shut the f*** up! It has been proven many times that movie studios are capable of making a decent live-action adaptation. So, maybe let's not just jump to the conclusion that it automatically means the film will be terrible. As mentioned earlier, some ended up judging the Mario movie prematurely, and it turned out just fine in the end. I mean, for God's sake, let's at least wait till we get a trailer or casting list first before we do that. Oh. 
I don't know, maybe I'm being way too optimistic about this whole thing. I mean, for all I know, this film's gonna end up being totally terrible in the end. Wouldn't it be funny if tomorrow we get a trailer that just invalidates everything I just said? <laughs> Please don't let that happen. What do you guys think about all this? Do you agree with the concerns people have right now, and do you think the movie is going to be really that bad as some predict? Or do you think we should wait for more info to make an assessment like that? Let me know in the comments below. And on that note, I'm gonna go get started on my next video so you guys don't have to wait another month between uploads! Yay! But seriously, y'all better have Tony Todd as Ganondorf or it's a 0 out of 10 film.